Hey guys, welcome back to another Olive video editing tutorial. This one's going to be a little bit different. I'm just going to walk you through my workflow when I create YouTube videos that I upload to YouTube like this one. All the videos I've made in this tutorial series, I've actually used Olive to do the video editing and to produce the video. So I'm just going to show you my workflow and the steps I do. Um, not, not really a ton to it, but uh, it's adding in my intro screen, my outro screen, and the actual screen recording. So here we're seeing just all the video screen recordings I, I do there by date. It takes me a lot of time sometimes to get the video done correctly. We'll select this one right here. This is the one that uh, the screencast that I did. And then I always put in, you've probably seen, I just right click and go to import. I have my intro screen and my outro screen on my videos. So my intro screen is right here. And my outro screen is this blue kind of background. So we've got the outro. And this is just a 60 FPS video that I've made that's like, um, I don't know exactly how long it is. It's like three or four seconds long. And then this is my intro one that just plays. This is also a 60 FPS just video that plays my logo kind of jumping out of the screen. So I always drag that down first. And actually at this point, I always put headphones on too. Sometimes there'll be something that you can hear like a buzzing or something that you can't always hear with your speakers. So I'm going to drag this video clip down. And this one, I just happen to know it actually is too loud. So I'm going to adjust the volume of it. But I'll bring down this other video clip as well by just left clicking and dragging it down. So this one I'll play. And it's a little bit laggy, but it won't be laggy when I actually do the rendering. I go to effects and I lower the volume by ne to negative 2 dB. Uh, and that puts this at a more acceptable volume. So it's not like hurting people's ears. And then I come over here to the volume on this one, and I just happen to know that this speaker, this microphone I'm using, this Rode mic, uh, I keep all the settings consistent in Open Broadcaster Studio that I use to record. And so I just know that I have to adjust the volume on this up to 11 to make it kind of the, a good volume for listening to on YouTube. And then I always have uh, like a false start and stop on my video. So let's see where I started and stopped on this one. I just, what I do is I scroll through and I look at the audio until I find a point that has a bunch of silence. So this is a fault start. And then I had the silence here. So this is where I really ended up starting. So I push C and I'll just cut this and go back to V and select this one and hit the delete key. So this is really the, the beginning of my, uh, where I start talking and I can verify that by just hitting play. Oh, I was totally wrong. That was a real, I guess I didn't have a false start on this one. So I'll just go back to where that false, where I thought was a false start and just get the very beginning of this. So. Welcome back to another Olive. Perfect. So there's that. And then also what I have. Welcome back to another Olive video editing tutorial. You see my voice, my, my mouth is a little bit off with the sound. And again, I've kind of had to fine tune this. I can fix it in Open Broadcaster Studio, but I just haven't done it yet. So what I do to correct it is I just right click, I go to link, unlink, and I grab this video and I put it forward about that far. I just know how far it needs to be. And now when I play it, my, my mouth is more in sync. And so that gets my audio more in sync. And now I have to come with my razor tool and I have to cut this and I choose this one and delete it. And then I have to relink the clips. So I'll select this one, hold down shift, relink, uh, hit this one, right click and go to link, unlink. That puts an underline under each of them. And now they're linked. So now if I move one, the other one moves with it. All right, so now my volume is nice too. So that volume effect I did by raising this to 11 dB, if I were to do a cut right now, both clips have that applied, which is another reason that I do it at the very beginning and not afterwards. Otherwise, I have to go and adjust the volume on every clip every time I have a cut. Sometimes I do a cut because I mess up in the middle of a video or I have to pause and speed up the video for like a download or something. All right, but this one, I don't think I had anything like that. So I'm going to scroll to the very end and we see it's a little bit off there, but that's okay. We'll find the very end of this. And now I'll cut right there and delete this. Maybe I'll even sh shrink that in a little bit. 
and then I'll grab my end screen, left click and bring it down. My end screen has audio, an audio track, but it's just silence. So I don't need to worry about that. So this will cut over to this and that's the end. Maybe that was too much, too quick. Yeah, that was actually too quick of a, of a transition over. So we do this. Perfect, that'll work. Uh, then I just render it out. So if the whole thing looks good, I'll, I'll usually take and listen through the whole thing actually, but this looks pretty good. So what I'll do is I go to file and I go to export and then I change the quality to 18. Um, I've been leaving everything else the same. There's actually a better, there's better formats I could do, but for all of, um, I've just been leaving everything exactly how it is, and I am only changing this. I'm keeping it 1920 by 1080, 60 frames per second, and I hit export, and then I choose what I want to call it. So I go to this ready for upload, and this one is, I think, uh, 18? Yeah, this is probably all of 18. So I call it what it's gonna be. Um, what I say this one was? Keyframing? Yeah. And then hit save, and then it just starts rendering. This will take half hour, twenty, eh, about twenty minutes. That time adjusts a little bit. Um, yeah, but that's what I do. So uh, hopefully you found that informative, and uh, catch you in the next video.